Trust is like blood pressure. It's silent, vital to good health, and if abused, it can be deadly. I'm Annie Hood. Hello and welcome to Well Intel Daily. This is the podcast that joins the dots on well-being perspective and everyday relevance. The recent Edelman Trust Barometer that was published in January shows that 32,000 people from 28 different countries recognise business as the only institution seen as ethical and competent. Business as a global sector has seen a rise in its ethics scores for three consecutive years, and it's now 20 points higher than it was in 2020. Getting a bit more granular, the survey shows the UK as being on the cusp of severe polarisation. And what that means is that those surveyed felt the country, the UK, is very or extremely divided and does not feel these divisions can be easily overcome. But trust in business in the UK gained one point from 2022 to 2023. Before I jump in on the key findings, I want to acknowledge that the Director General of the CBI, that's the Confederation of British Business, whose positioning is the voice of business in the UK, he stepped aside last month amid investigations about his conduct. Now, the ripple effect of this has meant several businesses reviewing their membership and a recent cancellation just last week of external events. And what this illustrates is the vast value and significance of leadership behaviour in business and what can happen when trust is broken or lost. And the report headlines and takeaways are these. Number one, that Business is expected to act, really build on their trust advantage and be more proactive in delivering solutions on climate, employee well-being and equality issues. Number two, business collaboration with government, really leading that unity in the knowledge that so much more can be achieved together than apart. Number three, Business being instrumental in restoring economic optimism and as a result of that, reversing the cycle of polarisation. And that cycle of polarisation isn't just in the UK, it's in many other countries too. Number four, businesses being advocates for the truth. Businesses promoting civil discourse and calling out mis- or disinformation across communities, society and the country at large. Earning trust through behaviour, action and relationships is a formula that you and I know well. We know it because it's instinctive rather than taught, but it can still be really difficult to sustain amidst the business headwinds of the day, such as finding the right staff, rising energy bills, inflation, interest rates. And there's opportunity and also great responsibility for business leaders today. And if you're listening and you're a business leader, you have enormous agency to build better, nurture trust and become a brand that is not only financially successful, but a brand that is purposeful and loved by employees and local community. You're the only ones that people trust. Tomorrow, what or who makes a great leader? Do share and click that follow button. And of course, be well.